Hey guys, this is Corey B, aka Binger, and I'm back for part three of hacking this little guy, this SNES classic. This has provided me with hours of fun not only playing it, but adding games and changing settings and modifying it. It's a ton of fun. You might actually have more fun hacking and modifying it than you might have playing it. Part one, I showed you how to hack it and add more SNES games with the Hachi 2 hack. In my part two video, I showed you how to add RetroArch, and that can allow you to add more games, more ROMs than just SNES ROMs. So we added Game Boy Advance games, SNES, Sega. What else did we add? We added N64, but it didn't play very well because this just isn't powerful enough. Today, we're gonna show you how to clean up these folders because if you take a look here, uh, this is like 140 or 50 games on it. You can see some of them are our original games, some of them are SNES that we added, some of them are NES that we added, and then there's also Game Boy Advance here, like that. They're all just thrown into a big folder and it's, a, it's just a cluster. So let me show you. This, here's our original games. It automatically makes folders, I think, based on alphabetical order here. So this one is 29 through Dawn, I don't even know what that means, and then Do through Mario. Um, this is chaotic, I don't like it. Let's make some folders today and put the NES games in the NES folder, SNES, Game Boy Advance, and so on. So anyway, first thing you want to do is run your Hotchkey 2. This is your program that allows you to add more games and hack the SNES classic. Uh, so here are all of my games. Oh, it's not connected. Let's turn this on. We're going to wait till we get a green light here. <clears throat> That's what we're looking for. And there it is. Now we're connected. It shows we have 123 games, 88.4 megabytes of 223. So what we need to do is go into settings here. We go down to pages, folders, structure, and we go to custom. You want to go to custom, show folders, manager every time. And now if you hit synchronize, it'll let you start sorting them. Now this is how I sorted them. Let's start all over here. So I forgot that it pulled up all my settings from my other SNES Classic that I hacked. So I deleted all those folders so we can start over again. Typically, if you add new games, they're gonna show up into an unsorted folder. So I just threw everything in the unsorted sorted folder to show you. What you wanna do is, we're gonna look through our unsorted folder. This is a Game Boy Advance game. This is a Super Nintendo game. This is an NES game. Now the original SNES games that they give you looks it's very similar to an NES game, but it's not. It's this one right here, or this one, Donkey Kong Country Contra Earthbound. It looks like an NES box, but it has a little picture on it, and my, my other ones just look like an NES box. Those are actually NES. The ones that have the picture is the original SNES games that they put on this. So I'm gonna make a folder for the original games. I'm gonna make a folder for the SNES, NES, Game Boy Advance, and Sega. So what you want to do up here on the home menu, just right click on that, create a new folder. We're going to make one original SNES. You can make the folders for anything. You could throw them into first person shooters. You could throw them into platformers. I like sorting them by console. So we're going to go into our unsorted folder. And first I'm going to just grab SNES games because there seem to be the most of those in here. You can hold the control button and click on them, or you can actually circle them with the control button and your cursor here. So I just hold control and I drag around all of my SNES games. Now these are the SNES games that I added to it. These are not the original ones. All right, so I've got most of them selected. I might have missed a few. All you do is grab them now and drag them right into the folder that you want to put them in. So now all of those should be in the SNES folder. That's great. I want to go back to my unsorted folder. Next, let's grab, let's grab the original SNES games that they put on the console. Those are those 21. So if you remember what I said, they look like an NES case, but they have a little yellow and orange green, yellow, green, and orange picture on them. So let's grab all those next. All right, now we're not left with too many more. Let's grab our NES games next. Here they are. The NES games just look like an NES case with no art on them. 
So what do we got left? Well, I missed a couple of SNES games. Let's throw those in there. So now we have Sega games. These are the two Sega games that I threw on there and Game Boy Advance games. Let's grab the Game Boy Advance. And the last two Sega games. So now if I click on my unsorted folder, there's nothing in it, so I can delete it. So just click on it and hit delete. When you hit the OK button, it's going to start synchronizing everything, uploading or deleting any games, and putting them into folders. So there we go. I've hacked a lot of consoles in the past, and one problem that I always run into is you end up putting too many games on there, or they're not sorted correctly. I love this feature that it allows you to sort it by folder. Instead of having one folder that says NES games, and having 600 NES games in there, which you can never find what you want then, you can break them up into folders. You could have your favorite games folder, you could have hacked ROMs folder, you could have racing games. I love this feature. It's very cool. All right, turn this off. Let's flip back over to my other screen. Nice, clean folders here. All right, there you go, guys. It doesn't get much easier than that. I would suggest this Black Friday, if you see any sales, go out and grab one of these guys. Even if it's not on sale, $80 is a steal. Pick it up and start having fun. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.